Hey folks, it's Mike and Michelle, and we are on another adventure. Yesterday we spent uh, the whole day out on Lake Cumberland with some friends. It was a hot day yesterday, but with those cool waters, you know we love cool waters. Today we are going to check out the Creelsboro Arch, uh, and I think there's an abandoned town, I don't know. We're just going to check out that arch and see what else is around this, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we've uh, arrived at Creelsboro, named for Elijah and Elza Creel. There's that sign. There's a Creelsboro country store. Oh, it's the same info. Here's uh, one of the old houses in Creelsboro. Check that out. Not gonna go in there, gotta have permission, probably. Walk into the nice house. It's got a lot of tree cover with the oak trees here. Look at this porch. old trees. The foundation right there. I'd seen a video, uh, another video of this same house, and the guy who did the video, I guess he got permission to go in there. Yeah, thank you, he's looking in. I bet this was, uh, Pretty cool house when it was kept up. You can kind of see in there, I guess. This is the uh, parking area for Creelsboro. Gotta watch out for the little divots in this gravel road, so. All right. Let me turn this sucker around. It's gonna be cool. monument about uh, the arch a little bit of history of the area it says to the public this arch was saved from destruction by Thomas Goff and wife hours of work and a large sum of money please enjoy respect and clean after yourself the Goff family Creelsboro Natural Bridge 
National Natural Landmark. Let's go check this out. I'm just guessing that this is a trail down to the arch. This, okay, this is, we don't know if this is the path, but man, look at this. It is the arch. It is the arch. But they say that when it gets up, it gets up and you can't walk underneath this. This is wow. super cool. So cool. Oh man, look at that. That's pretty big. Oh shit. Gonna have to climb back up. There's Michelle, just jumped down. Yeah, this is pretty huge. I was thinking it was closer to the water. Let's take a look at that whole thing. See how humongous that is? Wow, so the water must have been up there and somebody kayaked or canoed out here and put that. Look at that, that one right there, HCB, March 21st, 1943. Look at Michelle, and that'll give you an idea of how huge his arch is. place isn't free of uh, graffiti. Oh look, it's a rock, cock, cock rock. <laughs> I don't know why people like to uh, draw those things, I guess. I don't know. Let's walk down here. Might be a little muddy, so be careful. Yeah, it's a cock rock. Look at all these butterflies. See him? Trout fishing. All right, Paul Priest. You probably already know this. About the trout fishing regulations. For the Cumberland tailwater. Rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, brown trout, brook trout. And I guess whoever uh, spray painted that big pecker on that rock, he's probably fishing out here for trouser trout. <laughs> it does look like a good swimming hole. Look how clear. It's beautiful. Let's take a look back here.
That's a huge arch. Michelle's out in the water and... I don't even know if you can swim in it. Yeah, I know. We figured it'd be kind of warm just because the lake water was warm. But this is uh, freezing. And so apparently uh, this bottom of the bottom of the lake at the dam, it's, it, it's emptying from the bottom of the lake. So it's uh, that's why it's so cold. This is a beautiful spot right here. Yeah, and the water's real clear, but it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Here's another view of the arch again. Yeah, the, the temperature, it's so hot, it makes you want to jump in this water, but then when you feel the water, yikes, that is cold. <laughs> Definitely take uh, the fellas a long time to acclimate. <laughs> just to take this little side trail up alongside the arch just to get a, another view before we head out. Look, we're getting higher up here. it level out? <laughs> That's the trail down to the arch. This is that rock face that Michelle wanted to do. To check out. Will it? Does it go? Really. Nope. I guess it just gets to this rock face. There's nowhere else to go. But this gives you a pretty cool view up here. Even if you scale it, there's nowhere to go on the second level. Yeah. Man, it's just so hot. I would love to get in that water, but it is freezing. All right, be careful because it's slick. Uh. Uh. All right, there we go. We're gonna take off and see what else we can get into while we're down here in the uh, Lake Cumberland area. This Creelsboro arch is pretty cool. And it's right off the road, so it's an easy stop. Yeah, right off the road. Now we gotta make our way up this. Let's see how it is over this way. 